Peach is not often one of those flavors that gets used a lot these days in cocktails, but I'm on a mission to revive the peach. So I've got three epic cocktails for you here. Got a bit of bourbon or whiskey, got a bit of uh, rum, got a bit of tequila. Amazing. Stay tuned. Right then, peach is not one of those uh, automatic flavors that everyone has at home, but the peach bellini and things like that used to be huge years ago. Everyone used to was crying out for uh, peach puree. And you, I think, um, don't hold me to this, but I think it might have been even like Funkin's, one of the very first purees that they did because there was just this massive outcry for peach, uh, peach and bellinis, peach champagne. So all the recipes uh, will be in the comments below, uh, will be in the description below as well. So for the first cocktail, this kind of apple and peach sour, shaken cocktail, let's dive straight into it. Ingredient number one, Jack Daniels apple. Love it. 60 ml double bubble of your uh, JD apple. And if you're gonna use normal bourbon or whiskey or that, if you've got an apple liqueur, I would go 45 ml, one and a half ounces of whiskey. Uh, and then I would do 15 ml, what, half an ounce of uh, apple liqueur. So we've got that ingredient number two. Let's go this way. Uh, for this, I'm going 15, one five. These are really bizarre. I said this in the previous video that I filmed, the cherry one. They're, the flavors, don't get me wrong, the blueberry, the raspberry and the strawberry, they are really punching the flavors, but I don't find the syrups as sweet. Uh, so I'm using quite a bit less than this. I'm actually going 15 mil of uh, half an ounce of my um, syrup there. Again, if you want more, it's really bizarre. I do need more of the blueberry, but with the peach and the cherry, I don't. Interesting. Uh, so that, so 15 mil, half an ounce of that. I'm going 22.5 mil for your UK, 25 mil. Uh, but I'm going three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And there, here we go. Standard sort of sours now. We are going for our aromatic bitters. Again, really commit to the dash so you don't stain your work tops. Three dashes, I love three dashes. It's probably my go-to. One, two, three. Don't know why I'm worried about my white top. It wipes off. <laughs> it's like marble white tops. If you've got anything like that, they will stay. Right, and then we are going for our egg white replacements. I don't use egg whites because I like to be vegan friendly and events I've done, you know, I do get a lot of vegan. So, uh, but these, these are brilliant. You just literally need six drops. One, two, three, four, four. Missed that one. Five, six, seven. There we go. And that will replace a whole egg white. I think they're a genius product, uh, the drink stuff sells. So, uh, again, egg white, we need to kind of shake to emulsify the cocktail. Uh, so it goes from that to literally in a few seconds, that, that's what we're just doing. See that in the old close up there? That's what we want, right. So that's all that. Now we just need to chill our drink down because we don't want a warm drink, do we? We want a nice cold drink. So just gonna load the cocktail shaker up with ice and then we're just gonna shake this down for about 10 to 12 seconds. Right, when that is all nicely, oh, it smells so good. Oh, the apple notes and the peach. When it's all nicely chilled down, uh, I'm going for, after we've got whiskey, I'm going for a julep style glass. It's kind of a rocks glass. You want a kind of short glass, but I'm going to. Um, fresh ice if you want to. I'm just going shake and dump on this one. Shake and dump. There we go. Now just there. I've just got a little bit of uh, my little tiny bits of cubed ice just to make it look pretty on top. And the garnish, I've had a bit of an admin failure. I was going to go um, like a peach and that. Well, I didn't have an admin failure. My super line went to Tesco's. Should have gone to a fruit and veg, but my Tesco's didn't have any peaches last week. So instead, he says, as he's making it, as we go, ah, come on, there we go. Raspberry little kebab. Mm, right, here we go. I'm gonna do my usual trick now. I'm just gonna taste that in the end. Leave it to one side and taste it to its end. But there we go, raspberry and peach sour. Right then, the second uh, peach cocktail uh, I'm going to make for you. I've just found a little sprig of mint as well. A light, light, nice little mint garnish here on top. Awesome. Second one I'm going to make for you. It's kind of a punch. I'm going slightly different ratios to what I normally preach for a punch. So the whole one, two, three, four method. So ingredient number one, pretty much the go-to easy available spiced rum in the UK. Uh, Enough. It's, it's not it's not brilliant spice rum, but it's, it does the job pretty damn well. So 60 mil double bubble of DMF. Used, the reason I love it, it used to be Cornish. It's not Cornish anymore, but it was born and bred in St. Ives in Cornwall. That's why I love it. I'm a bit patriotic towards it. Right, 
So I've got that. Peach syrup. Now, normally we'd go um, sort of like, as I say, we'd do one part sour, two parts sweet, three parts strong, four parts weak, and a dash of spice to make it nice. That's the whole punch thing. I'm going slightly different here. I am just going 15, one five mil of, uh, so half an ounce of this peach syrup. Because uh, I don't want it to be that sweet, basically. So there we go. Uh, now I'm going for some lime juice. I'm going more lime than I am sweet in this. So I'm going 22 and a half ounces, three quarters. Sorry, 22 and a half ounces. 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice in there. Uh, I'm going for a dash of bitters as they're right there. Actually going to do two, two dashes of Angostura bitters in there. One, two, just to give it that kind of nice sort of little bit of a spice note in there. Uh, going for some pineapple juice. I always preach about juices. Uh, I don't mind supermarket brands. I quite enjoy supermarket brands, actually. I think they're pretty much the go-to things. Uh, but one thing I will say is always try and use 100% pressed and squeezed if you can. Um, always, always better. So, uh, and purely because they taste better, uh, because there's no rubbish. That is just six, I think six pineapples in there. Six pineapples, that's all that is. Right, uh, 45 mil. That's what I'm going in here. 45 mil, one and a half ounces of that. And then, as I say, I want to turn it red. So, uh, you never need to use that much grenadine. You really don't. Bottles of grenadine will last ages and ages. So I'm just literally going, you watch me put way too much here. I'm just literally going for a bar spoon. Oh, he's done it well. A bar spoon, just like that, look, of grenadine. And that'll just give it, you see, look, even that, look, gives it that nice kind of red, luscious sort of look. It's just what you want from a punch. Mm. Just, grenadine's just like pomegranate syrup. That's all it is, really. There we go, or should be. God knows what that is, but there should be pomegranate syrups. Right, so there we go, essential ingredients. We're just gonna ice this up now, destroy the bar, and uh, give it a good old shake for about 10 to 12 seconds. You know I don't have to keep telling you that. Card fast shake though. Right, there we go. Right, serve, serving up. Inspiration, what are we gonna use? Tiki glass, tiki glass, pineapple glass. What other tiki glasses have we got? What should we use? There we go, take your pick. I can't, I'm gonna use that one. Gonna use that one, there we go. Loads of tiki glasses. Uh, fresh ice if you want, shake and dump if you don't. Lovely, 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 jubbly. I've got my garnish ready to go there. I'm just gonna, a li little bit more crushed ice left over there. Just, as I say, just makes our drinks look pretty. And then garnish, pineapple, pineapple spear, Sorry, pineapple wedge, pineapple spears, leaves. There we go. And that is our, what are we gonna call it? We need your name for that one. So peach, peach and pineapple. Where's this little face? Which way around is it? There it is, right. So again, I'm gonna taste that at the end. Right then, so the third cocktail, as you can see, I've prepped up. I guess you would kind of call this a margarita, but I don't know, I don't, I don't think it is a margarita, but uh, again, I want your names for it. Let's dive straight in. Reposado Tequila Cascabel, that's my brand. I'm going for 45 mil. Uh, I want a fresh jigger. Let's just put that down there. There we go, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of uh, Reposado Tequila. Get right into my tequila this year, right into it. Right up my street. Right, 45 mil uh, and then 15 mil of this honey tequila. As I say, if you're just using uh, normal uh, tequila, uh, and with some honey, just go 60 mil, okay? So uh, I'm going 15 mil of honey tequila. This is absolutely delicious. Proper, proper delicious. Right, peach syrup, uh, or peach puree, or blended up peaches, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce of uh, peach syrup. There we go. Then I'm going 22 and a half mil, uh, what, uh, three quarters of an ounce of, um, uh, lime juice, so 22 and a half mil. There we go. Do I think 25 mil is gonna wipe brew in a cocktail? No, if you're UK, 25 mil is fine. And then I'm going 15 mil of Chambord raspberry, black raspberry liqueur, which I don't often use too much. I prefer, I do actually like to use that quite a lot. Framboise de Rons, uh, Tay berry, so uh, blackberries, raspberries, kind of liqueur. Uh, but it's 15 mil of Chambord. I'm using Chambord, because I know most of you will be able be able to get shambled really easy, so just easy peasy, innit? Right, uh, ice that up. Got my whole bar's falling to bits, look. Ice that up. Uh, and then we're just gonna shake it down proper welly for about 10, 12 seconds. 
There we go. Pop that to that side. As I say, little diddy diddy Nick and Nora serve. Uh, double strain this. Double strain this. Quite boozy, this one. Oh, so good. So good. There we go. And then to garnish, I've just got another little raspberry kebab, which is probably going to be too big to a glass. Right then, let's dive in and taste them. Let me know which ones you use, but uh, will be your favourites as well. So, apple and peach sour. Oh, God damn, did, did I put booze in that? I put 60 ml of booze. Oh, you don't taste much in there. Oh, that's good. That is lovely. Right, um, uh, the punch. Oh, again, you're gonna love that. Just fun and easy. Absolutely gonna love that. And then this, the kind of margarita, but not. <laughs> That's my style of the show. Oh, I don't know though. Mm. Oh, three epic, epic peach cocktails. More morning videos will be right there on screen now. So make sure you go and watch one of them. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the very next video.